prescription drugs would certainly be covered um, because they are covered under almost every one of the programs that are, are referenced uh, in the bill. You know, Medicaid covers drugs, et cetera, et cetera. So prescription drugs would be covered. Um, there would be no copay, deductible, et cetera. So you would not be paying uh, out of pocket for drugs, so there's no donut hole, uh, no higher copay if your doctor prescribes a brand name versus a, uh, uh, a generic, et cetera. Uh, the way prescription drug costs would be controlled is by using uh, a program called the Preferred Drug Program, which is used in a, in, in a segment of Medicaid. Uh, it used to be used until four years ago by the whole Medicaid program. Um, Medicaid now has each Medicaid managed care plan negotiate on their own with drug companies, um, which I think dramatically reduces our bargaining power. Under the preferred drug program, the state would be negotiating drug prices with drug companies on behalf of 20 million uh, enrollees. Uh, if your doctor prescribes a drug that is not on the, quote, preferred drug list, what the preferred drug program says is that your doctor has to phone into the program explain why he or she wanted to prescribe the, the non-preferred drug. Now today, if your doctor prescribes a non-preferred drug, you pay an arm and a leg if you want to keep using it. Under the New York Health Act, the plan would try to explain to the doctor why the preferred drug uh, is better. But if your doctor insists on going with the non-preferred drug, under the preferred drug program, the prescriber prevails, and that's that. And you take your prescription to the drugstore, and they fill it, and you don't pay anything extra. Uh, the state will probably pay a higher price, but thanks to its negotiating power, uh, it works out as a deal. Uh, under the preferred drug program in Medicaid, Almost all prescriptions turn out to be prescriptions for the preferred drugs. And that's partly because, well, it's largely because doctors have come to have confidence that the list includes what is, by evidence, the best drug in each class. And secondly, almost all drug companies are so eager to have their, their drug on the preferred drug list that they pay the state you know, essentially the ransom uh, that we require them to pay in order to get their drug on the list. And so it is a, it's a well-functioning program. It empowers a doctor to prescribe a drug that, 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 that is not the preferred drug. And it doesn't take hours of the doctor's time to get that authorization and it doesn't take a nickel out of your pocket. So that's how the drug benefit would work. Uh, a better drug benefit than I would say any of us in this room has. It's certainly a better drug benefit than I as a public 